great things about vibrations is they're kind of everywhere. So everything from sound to atoms vibrating to cars going by to walking to your clothes moving and we can take those vibrations and we can convert them into electrical energy. So we make these little nano generators. This is an example of the, the kind of device that we make and effectively what they are is an array of zinc oxide nano rods which looks a little bit like a very very small hairbrush and we flex it and bend it we can generate electricity. Looking into a variety of different answers to the problem of the energy challenge in, in the world is important. When we had the first conversation was based in a nice restaurant in the West End of London and the great thing about a restaurant or any sort of social venue is they're full of energy. So the cooking and the lighting and the heating is all there to keep people warm and comfortable. But also there's a lot of energy available. So at Queen Mary, I have a team of one postdoc and two or three PhD students. And what we're doing here is trying to develop the process and the processes we use to make devices. Well, I guess our eureka moment was when we made a device that worked. So when I got the first image of energy coming out, you know, you kind of look at it and you think, heck, it's working, and that's cool. And here's, here's something that's new, exciting, it's different, it's taking this idea of vibrational harvesting at the kind of nanoscale into slightly different directions, it's moving it into a slightly new area. When we first had the idea, I really didn't expect it to work so quickly. And basically, the first time I put it together, um, and connected it to the testing equipment and flicked it a few times, I started getting spikes of voltage coming out. Normally, you have to make things dozens of times before you get them to work at all, so that was really a great result. I think the next stage for where we're trying to go with the research here is to move it into slightly bigger devices. So at the moment the devices are quite small and they're limited in how much power they can develop because we have a certain power per area or per volume. And I'd like to see it being used. I'd like to see it moving from the laboratory into some application. For example, in the automotive industry, so taking off alternator load in cars, perhaps putting it inside tube trains for video type advertising, so we have non-battery type systems where we use the vibrational energy to, to drive a, a display of some description. So it's finding applications where we can reduce the load of a battery or remove a battery altogether. And that's kind of where I'd like to see it go in terms of the ambition. So at the moment we're working very much with NPL, the National Physical Laboratory, who are helping us with the measuring and the calibration and the traceability of our output from our devices. I think we're probably just at the start of a journey really and what we're looking to do is take that as far down the avenue as we can go.